plant road effort by the county is really kind of a, uh, something that is really difficult for me to understand why they're going in the direction that they're going. I spent 10 years on, Ann Arbor, on the Planning Commission of Ann Arbor, two years on the Planning Commission, and eight years on City Council, trying to do exactly what they, uh, the County Commission is trying to do on Platte Road, and that is leverage a piece of land to encourage some sort of affordable housing. We did that with the Y lot. 10 years of effort went nowhere. And the reason is, is that politicians do not have the wherewithal to engage in speculative real estate development. And that's what the county is doing. They are attempting to use their 13 acres and uh, to, to turn around and engage in speculative real estate development. We've seen Ypsilanti try to engage in speculative real estate with Water Street, it failed. We saw Sylvan Township engage in speculative real estate with a developer. They had to raise their millage by four mills in order to pay off the, the monies that they borrowed for the infrastructure. So I'm actually very disappointed in the methodology that the county is trying to use to uh, the quote, do affordable housing, because really what they're saying is, if we do a lot of luxury housing, we'll get some affordable housing. And that's the premise that we keep hearing time, time and again from these uh, politicians who are engaging in affordable housing. They keep telling us, if we build more affordable or more luxury housing, we'll get affordable housing. This trickle down housing policy does not work, and we need to do more to actually support our Ann Arbor Housing Commission. While Platte Road sit there vacant, the Ann Arbor Housing Commission down on Platte Road has vacant piece of uh, buildings waiting for funding to be demolished and redeveloped. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Ackerman, uh, we'll have the same question uh, in relation to the Platte Road proposal for, for the Washtenaw County. What do you hope happens to this property? And given that it is in Ward 3, what is the role of a Ward 3 council member in this process? Thanks so much for the question. Uh, how you use a piece of public land is always a, a hot debate and of much interest to the people. Um, the, the Platte Road property is 13 acres that sits at the corner of Huron Parkway and, and Platte Road next to County Farm Park. It used to be the juvenile detention center before that was torn down just over a decade ago. Uh, these 13 acres are uh, a prime uh, location for development of any kind, uh, but it's important that we see affordable housing, a diverse mix of housing there. It's easy access to transit right along Washtenaw and our major corridor to Ypsilanti. Uh, it's also walkable to commerce and to parks and to schools. It is where anyone would like to live, and I would like to see as much of a diverse community there as possible. The only way that you do that is with a government stake in that land. And Mr. Councilman is right. Politicians aren't the right pe people to do development. And while this isn't speculative, because we have the demand to prove that people will live here, uh, it, he's right. And we need to find a development partner, or rather the county does. Right now it's in their hands. I have a personal favorite. I love the Viridian development. It brings uh, sustainability in a way that no development in the state of Michigan ever has. Uh, we're talking about a, a net neutral uh, neighborhood in terms of energy consumption, but we're also talking about a neighborhood that uses, that leverages, uh, leverages homes for sale to pay for the utility costs of low income families living right there in the same community. It incorporates a lot of the community gardens uh, that we're already seeing prop, spot, prop up in, uh, in, in, the, in the field, um, and it, it continues a, a legacy of, of us trying to champion and lead in terms of sustainability and inclusivity. 